setting boundaries with narcissistic parents. I'm Crystal and I'm a licensed therapist. When you realize that the people who raised you were narcissistic, as an adult, especially if you're in therapy and you're trying to form a new path and form a new self-concept, you're definitely gonna have to set boundaries. That may look like boundaries around your time, boundaries around your energy, your effort, boundaries around what you allow them to have input on about your life. All of those things definitely are going to have to be in your control. Are they going to love it? Nope. Nope. Especially if you're changing a dynamic that's been in place for a long time. What that might sound like is, I know we've always gone to your house on Easter Sunday, but this year we're just going to drop by for an hour or so. I know you think that you have a say in which house we purchase, but we're really going to purchase the house that's going to meet our needs. I know you raised three kids, but we're probably going to raise our kids a little bit differently than you did, and we would appreciate if you didn't try to give us input on how to parent our kids. I'm not going to be able to come over and fix that sink for the third time. You're probably going to have to hire a handyman this time. One way that narcissistic parents try to maintain control over their kids or grandkids is through money. So when I am working with a client in therapy who is trying to set boundaries with their narcissistic parent, one of the first things that I encourage them to do is to get financially independent as soon as possible. Because ultimately, if you're taking money from someone, they should get an input on how that money is spent and on your life. So a really quick way to get rid of that input is to get rid of that money. Now, some narcissistic parents have set it up to where you can't survive without their monetary input. And that's a problem. Ultimately, I think it comes down to, is it worth it? At what cost to me emotionally, mentally, is this relationship versus the financial cost? Another thing that I think is really important when setting boundaries with any toxic person is understanding they may not like me, they may pull their love away from me anymore, but I have to do this in order to keep myself safe. That's today's Minded Minute.